Yeah. All right, guys. Sorry, the microphone was away. Uh, this is a short video. Uh, I'm not sure if the audio is working. Uh, let me know, please, if if you have any problem in the sound. Are we good? All right. Well, this is a short video, and it's let us say it's like a snack. And feel free, please, to download and share it around. Uh, I will make those small videos, which is going to be easy to share and easy to learn from. You know, all of us we knew. Muslims, they have a cube in the middle of Mecca, which is in the middle of no nowhere in the desert. And now because they became rich, so they build a lot of marbles and buildings around it, and everybody pray in that direction. But mm, the Muslim, they claim that Abraham, one day, he went there and he built that room. But there is no historical proof. It's just a fiction. Somebody came with an idea that says Abraham went there. And all of us, we knew that doesn't make sense. Because always people who live in the desert or let us say people who live in farming or even they grow animals, they don't go to a desert to live. If they immigrate, they immigrate where it's green, not to the middle of nowhere and the middle of death. Uh, Mecca is a dead city. There's nothing there. There's a small spring of water and there's no farming. There is nothing. So why anyone like Abraham would go there? This is a fiction story. However, this is not the topic. The topic is, the Muslims, they say always to the Christians that Jesus was not crucified. Then we need to ask a question about things we see in the Quran. In the Quran, chapter 2, verse number 87, we find the Quran speaking of that the Jews, they killed the prophets. The Jews, they killed the prophet. It says here, أَفَكُلَّمَا جَاءَكُمْ رَسُولٌ بما لا تهوى أنفسكم استكبرتم ففريقا كذبتم وفريقا تقتلون chapter 2 verse number 87 supposedly Allah speaking to the Jews saying to them so each time you know like we send you a messenger uh, you know some of them you, you accuse of lying and some of them you slay as you see the question for the Muslims and I challenge them this is a challenge for every Abdul in the world including the big Abdul the small Abdul all sides of Abdul who are they the prophets which the Jews they slay is it weird that you have a book talking about prophets being killed but never mention a name of one I mean how stupid is that Allah he have time to speak about the ant speaking to Solomon or the ants speaking to the ants. Allah have time to mention that the, the Suleiman, he was a chicken, the birds, and he did not find his favorite chicken, which is the hoopoe. Allah speak about the chair of Suleiman. Allah speak about the genie diving for Suleiman. Allah speak about uh, the seven sleepers in the cave and their dog. Allah sleep about every silly, stupid thing in the Quran, but he could not mention to us, who are they, those prophets who the Jews killed? Remember here, it says other you slay others which mean many prophet being slain by the Jews but the Quran failed to tell us name of one of them and that is not only one verse this is in many verses in the Quran if you go in chapter uh, uh, 2 uh, 61 you know it says the same that they kill prophets you know as you see they kill the prophets and the Quran failed to give us one one person was killed by the Jews who is the person was killed by the Jews nobody knows what kind of book have time to tell us about stupid stories from all around the world which is fiction stories Muhammad he added to the Quran as if it is a book of God but yet he failed to tell us something very important about killing of a prophet I mean is that something happen every day The Quran mentioned the most silly, stupid things, but failed to prove to us the important things, like the crucifixion of Jesus. The holy crucifixion of Jesus is mentioned in the Quran in one small, tiny verse. No explanation, nothing. 
as if it's nothing Allah have time to talk about the ants Allah have time to talk about the flying carpet Allah have time to talk about women they can give their vagina to Muhammad but Allah has no time to speak about something extremely important and there's no details each time Allah he sent messenger to the Jews they slew the prophets and they killed them who are they those prophets who the Jews they kill not a single Abdul in the world can tell you a name they might try to get, try to guess they might try to say to you maybe this guy maybe that guy but they cannot tell us a name because this is aftermarket religion made by a prophet his name is Qatham he changed his name to be the praised one claiming to be a prophet of God but yet he occupied the name of God for God is the one to praise not a man yet the Muslims they call themselves that they are Muslims who worship God but yet they're a prophet his name is the praised one if Muhammad is the praised one who is praised too who are they those prophets who the Jews they killed any Abdul can tell us not a single Abdul can answer this question I'm not going to make this video long I just wanted to share this with you Islam is a very stupid religion based on fictions and stupidity Muhammad was teaching just hate against the Jews and he is accusing them of things nobody can prove unless you want to say to me that Christ was killed by the Jews but this is something the Muslim totally they deny and they refuse so who are they the other prophets which are slain remember it's not even one it's the others Fariqan, Fariqan, groups of prophets you slay who are they the, the group of a prophet which the Jews they slay if any Muslim can give me the answer please leave a comment down of the video and be be my hero be my hero give me the answer please and tell me what kind of religion it does not mention something very important about killing a prophet Allah if Jesus is a prophet how come Allah have time to tell us about G saving the prophet but Allah have no time to tell us about the prophet who was killed you know you guys <laughs> why he have time to tell us that Jesus was not killed but he have no time and he named Jesus by name but why he don't have time to name for us the prophets who die and killed for his sake and they are prophets stupidity is amazing so please share the video leave your comment and thank you for being here this is a Christian Prince I love you all and we will do more snack here and there during the day so we can share short videos and you guys can watch it share it download it and give it to everybody around you thank you very much and take care everybody bye bye love you Christ is Lord Islam is false I mean to that see you soon again bye bye